but this week was kind of like hard for me because I was second guessing myself and second guessing the choices that I made for 2018 and I don't know like I felt a little bit frustrated with myself because being at a location as far as my job being at a location where I you know I was succeeding I was the best like I was the top stylist so being being at that and then coming to a new location and just starting from the bottom is really really hard for me as a human being transition is really really hard for me as a human being um it takes a, a toll on me mentally and i always end up it doesn't take a positive toll either it always ends up into like a negative toll for me and i don't know like um, but you gotta look at it as a new start mm. that god has given you a better opportunity yeah just because you're at the bottom don't mean you can get yourself back to the top hard yeah but in the midst of it being hard you have to make it positive you have to bring out okay i was the top stars over here doesn't it doesn't mean that i can't come over here and be the top stylist over here and be a better stylist than i was before yeah see you have to have the positive mindset you can't doubt yourself you can't um think negative you know there's a lot of things in life that's going to be hard it's going to be yeah. challenging and god's going to place us in different circumstances that are supposed to make us grow and make us you know a better human being mm -hmm. so you gotta look at it as like the positive aspects of everything yeah and then when they, like i was like sitting down trying to think about it like yesterday and i was just like well i was talking to the girl because she was just like you know everything happens for a reason you are where you are right now for a reason and i've kind of felt bad because i was just like dang like god i kind of like you know i walked in there and I was like, I got hired on the spot that same day. So for God to allow that to happen and then for me right now to basically be complaining, yeah. it's kind of like a slap in the face to him. Yeah, he wants you to realize like, yes, David Friday, that was like your starting point. Here yeah. is, you got the next step. Yeah. You can, here's where I'm gonna bring out all your blessings for you. Where you can go in there like today, um, you sold your first dress. Yeah. Um, I sold my first dress. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> and, you know, the compliment, the lady said you need to go ahead and get your own cars. Like, yeah. Here's where everything is about to start happening. Mm -hmm. You're about to start making connections. You're about to start making people just know who Amber is. Yeah, and that's the thing I have a problem with is I hate which is it, it's a it's not that i hate to prove myself to people it's not even that it's i hate starting back from the beginning knowing how long it took me to get to where i am i hate like i hate that coming back to where i was again that yeah. starting point i hate being at the starting point again it pisses me off well that's gonna happen in life though in like anything I just don't like proving myself to people. I don't like it. Like, I don't like trying to show people. I have to constantly show people how great I am. I hate that feeling. I have to do it with this darn YouTube page. Like, I got to show people how great I am. I hate it. Like, what? What? Not, not, okay. I don't know how to explain it. It's not that I hate it. I just hate, I don't like when people kind of like question. I don't like being questioned if I'm great, if that makes any sense. Like, I don't like being, I don't know, I don't just, I, mean, I don't. Yeah, I get where you're coming from, where people, you gotta prove yourself. Yeah, you like, and then people treat you like crap, like you're not great, and you know inside you're great, and yeah, people but, are still treating you like, like you're not. That's what pisses me off. Not proving myself, because I don't mind proving myself, but what pisses me off is, 
I know I'm great and you treat me like I'm dirt. Like really? But that should motivate me. Yeah, yeah, it should motivate you. It should turn you. Should, it but should push you. you. It, should. <laughs> it does. Can't. It should push you though, for real, because like, you know, people are looking down on you. People are, oh, like you can't make it. Oh, like you don't know how many times where I don't heard where you're not gonna make it. You're like, you're gonna be this. You're gonna be that. Like. But look where I'm at now. Right? And the thing is, though, I like that that happened to me as well. But the thing is, though, I feel like now when I hear that and when I see people treat me like that, it's just like it angers me. It angers, should, I, it you can't angers. allow. You can't keep. You can't allow a person negative energy to just mess up your day and mess up your mood. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, people gonna speak. People gonna talk about you. People not gonna like you. People gonna like you. Regardless of what's going on, person, you gotta be you. You gotta know, like, all right, just because you think this or that, then I don't care. Yeah. This I is just, me. you know, how I am. You know, it's just like I'm coming from a genuine place. Yeah. So for people, for me to be coming from a genuine place and you to react in such a nasty way is like, yo, really? You gotta get out your head and <laughs> you gotta. Stop allowing people to mess up you, like mess up your mood. Like, yeah. like I gotta tell you that all the time. People gonna either like you, they're not gonna like you, or whatever. But yeah, you gotta push through to everything. Just like your business, mm -hmm. you're gonna have to start at the bottom. You're gonna yeah, have I'm gonna have to prove myself. But have I don't mind proving myself. Then they don't be like, oh, watch me be the greatest. But but but, but baby, you're gonna have people. That's in the business with you. That's gonna that's say something. That's gonna about treat you. me. Yeah, that's gonna, gonna treat, treat me. You yeah, like crap because you at the bottom. But at the same time, I know what I can prove. I know what I can bring to the table. Yeah, I just I can't let it affect me. Yeah. And the thing is, so I've grown a lot since David's bridal. Like you, you know. Yeah. I will let every little thing affect me, and now it's just like. I guess it's just growth. I'm, I'm still growing. Yeah, I'm, I am. Yeah, you are. not perfect. <laughs> I mean, nobody's perfect. That's the thing about it. Like, we all live to learn. Yeah. We you know we, we we make mistakes. We gotta learn from it. We gotta. If we didn't have mistakes, if we didn't have the growth in life, then like we won't get nowhere. in this is don't ever doubt yourself um, and even if you do you are gonna have days when you do doubt yourself but don't stay in your doubt you know even if you it's if it's too hard for you to come out by yourself talk to someone I talked to this guy right here talk to someone and like you know just be honest like hey this this is this is it's killing me this. You know the best thing to do? Yeah, we both do. Is pray. Yeah, you gotta, pray. You gotta be in prayer. Yeah, and don't, don't, don't be lying to God. Like God, you know, it's really this. Now nah, God already knows. So just go ahead and be truthful from the beginning, please. For God strike you down. God forbid. <laughs> Next thing I would say is, besides prayer, navigate yourself away from negativity uh -huh. because. Yeah. The more you're being negative, the more you're allowing that, the more you're going to think negative, mm -hmm. the more you're going to navigate negative people, your life's going to, you're not going to get nowhere. Mm -hmm. You're just going to wake up and just go through a day. Yeah. You got to speak positive. You got to be positive. Have a positive mindset and think positive. Mm -hmm. So, this is what we're doing in 2018. We're not doubting ourselves. We're speaking positivity into our lives, even when negativity is surrounding us and trying to kill us. And number three, number three, the big three, what's the big three, babe? The big three, which would be number one, is coming close to God. I'm going to show you how great I am <laughs> with my Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, lovers. Bye. Give him a kiss. Tell him bye. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, have a good one. All See right. <laughs> it's so good.
kami. So we are going to the fashion museum at SCAD Fash. <gasps> Yesterday I preached. Um, that's going to be in this video as well. Um, and yeah, so you guys are going to have like a full day with us. Well, not a full day, half of a day with us. Somewhat doing full. Somewhat doing full. Because <laughs> yep, half the day is gone. Yep. So yeah, we're going there. First, we're gonna get some McDonald's because I was hungry. Should I eat? Hush up. So yeah, we looking cute, we looking nice, we looking fine. Shut it up. Shut it up. Oops, Jesus help us, help us Lord. So yeah, keep on watching. Mwah. <laughs> Guys. So we at Mickey D's <laughs> and they got the hotcakes. It's 11.50. Woo! I've been wanting these hotcakes for like two weeks. Stop recording me, babe. Stop. She so think you're cute. With, so I'm so excited! I'm waiting for my Flapjacks, guys. I need some strawberry jelly. <laughs> there syrup in there? Yeah, syrup. Yes, Dude, my syrup is it in it's, here. It's in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. How many hash browns did they give you? Like you want my biscuit? Cause I don't want it. Yeah, why? I don't. I don't like biscuits. I want biscuits. Yeah. Oh my god. Guys, oh, he's about to go get me some syrup because I need more than this one puny little syrup. This is not gonna work. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my god. because today's a Monday, it's not open on Mondays. But good news is you get to see my school. You go here. This is our school. All right, guys. I'm a bit annoyed, but this is my school. This will be the um How you doing? Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like the last one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Keep on watching.
and I remember I'm watching you. I don't know which one to pick. I'm gonna get try to go banana berry tree. Ew. Oh my nut and banana. I think I think I'm gonna try the strawberry kiwi braid. I'm dying. Shit. I'm <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> about to die on me. <laughs> Look how it's smooth. You about to die. It's going to die with the smoothie head. <laughs> got to eat the smoothie. Like she, she died happy. Sorry, Papa. <coughs> oh, God, help me. Can you see? Hey, lovers. So, thank you so much for watching my video. If you made it from the beginning to the end, I truly, truly appreciate it. And thank you for watching. Also, for all those who supported my first video, OMG, I hope God blesses you 10 times fold. Like, for real. Um, the sermon that I was talking about before is going to be posted after this. So, do not leave, please. Thank you. You see my lips? Ooh, they pop it. Mm. <laughs> so, sorry. So, um, where was I? What did I say? I don't remember. Um. Uh. Oh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe down below. Guys, don't do it down there. Not right there. It's down there. Down there. So, comment, like, and subscribe. And also share as well. And just thank you so much for the support. Um, FYI, this is a little FYI moment. I will be posting vlogs on Wednesdays. And on Sundays, I will be posting short videos. So, videos of me singing, speeches, or any thing that I feel like posting that day but those videos will be five minutes or less um so Wednesdays are vlog days so just keep that in mind as well so you guys will be seeing notifications on Wednesdays and Sundays so make sure you watch thank you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and yeah just thank you so much for the support and don't ever forget that without love you have nothing in this world keep on watching guys because the sermon is coming up next. I hope you like it. I was a bit nervous. Don't laugh at me, please. Please be nice in my world. Without love, you have nothing. Remember. <laughs> and the link for the whole full video will be posted down below. Thank you, guys. Love you. Mm -hmm. I want to share my truth with the congregation this afternoon. Two weeks before
before the New Year's came, I was going back and forth with God, talking. But it always ended up with me asking me questions. And I found myself getting frustrated with not only God, but myself. I was asking God, why? Why me? Why put this in me, this yearning to be something great, something more, a force to be working with spiritually? Why me? Not to sound boastful or big-headed, because that's not my personality, but I am great. And that scares me. Even saying it right now makes me want to curl up into a ball and hide. I have this thing stirring up in me, boiling, and it's very, very annoying. It's powerful, and I'm scared. I have the potential to be powerful in God, in the world. I have a power that can allow me to be one of the faces in the new generation, as my, as my grandfather said. But I am scared. I've been wrestling with God, allowing my flesh to block me from reaching a new level, from allowing me, from allowing the Holy Spirit to flow freely without bumps and turns in me. I am afraid of angering people, afraid of judgment. And as in judgment, I mean, who does she think she is? I'm afraid of being so great that it gets to my head and I forget who I was, where I came from. There's a conflict of the flesh and the Holy Spirit. I'm asking God, why me? I'm nothing but dust. What do you see in me that you have decided to place a seed in me that's growing and I can't do nothing about it? I don't know how to make it stop. I don't know if anyone wrestled with God for anything or felt this way or fit or is feeling this way right now. But if you have, just say amen one time for me. And be honest, let me lead by example of being truthful, not only to myself, but to God. Like John stated, I am unworthy. I have been saying the same thing to God. God, I am unworthy. You have the wrong door. You have the wrong girl.